Hi, I'm Sid Dobrin. In this video, I'll be talking about the Mapping Your Situation feature. When I teach the Mapping Your Situation feature in the chapter about writing to propose, I walk students through the process it illustrates. I ask students to begin mapping their situation by asking a series of questions about their purposes in writing to propose. What am I proposing? Why am I proposing? What does my proposal need to convey? Does my proposal serve a larger purpose, like establishing an approach for a research project? Once they have a sense of their purposes in writing to propose, students should then begin asking about who will be reading their proposals, asking questions to determine what they know about their audiences. At the same time, students should consider in what medium and by what method will they convey their proposals. The questions they ask about medium and method should be asked in conjunction with their questions about audience, since the responses work together to help students frame their understanding of the situation. Likewise, I always want to show students that when thinking about and asking about audience, medium, and method, they should also start to question the context of their proposal, where it will occur, where will it appear, what limits their proposal? What can be proposed? Each of these kinds of questions should be asked in conjunction with one another as the answers to these questions might change how the questions get asked. Next, I ask students to start thinking about who else is already participating in the situation and what the various relations are in the situation. This kind of questioning can help students understand other proposals that are already part of the situation and how their own proposals then work in relation to other proposals, particularly when multiple proposals from multiple writers are all competing for the same funding or the same audience. One thing I try to emphasize with students is the ways that institution and power can constrain what counts as legitimate proposal within a particular situation. This is also the point in the mapping the situation that I ask students to consider the ethics of their proposals in connection with thinking about relations, constraints, and power. Next, I ask students to consider the networks in which their proposals will function. How will their proposals circulate, both in terms of the audiences they intend and those they didn't necessarily address? Ultimately, this degree of questioning asks students to consider how their writing might affect the situation and others who participate in it. I also try to talk with students about how situations undergo change, even as writers try to analyze and lock down a situation. I encourage students to analyze and map their situations multiple times as they write to propose within a situation. So those are a few thoughts about walking students through the mapping your situation feature with an eye toward teaching students how situational awareness is integral to the activity of writing to propose. Thanks for using writing situations and thanks for watching.